Ooh. Whoa, what a dramatic way to end up cooking our beans, huh? Wow, yeah. <laughs> like a telenovela. Oh my God. Welcome to San Francisco to my caliente kitchen. And today we have a lot of caliente things. Yep, from cooking beans, of course. This is Sabrina, my intern, from cooking beans to using the cooking pre the cooker pressure, right? To showing you some tricks to have one thing why people have, they're so always afraid to eat beans. Why? Yeah. You know, you get gassy. <laughs> well, ga natural gas? Natural gas. <laughs> natural gas. Well, yes gas the gas effect and that what bothers a lot of people this is why they don't like to eat beans but i'm going to show you a trick right now how to reduce the gas effect from beans well yes beans have a sugar a fiber that actually humans cannot digest and that sugar causes a lot of gas so one way to do it is by i'm going to show you right now look at this boiling the beans first i'm going to put that here now Boiling the beans first for about five to ten minutes and then the sugar roughly knows the fiber goes into the water. You see how black it is? Look at it. Yeah, how much water do you put? Yeah, just put a lot of water, make sure that you cover the beans because you're going to just boil for five to ten minutes. That also helps the beans to, um, to cook faster and some people soak the beans like four hours overnight. That water you need to discard. Don't cook the beans in that water. That's one of the biggest mistakes people make. And that's when you get a lot of gas. I'm gonna turn this off now here. So what we're gonna do now is discard this water. Now I didn't soak my beans because I'm gonna be using a uh, pressure cooker. Pressure cookers cook more faster, faster and also uh, by what, half the time or even you can save 75% of the time. All right, so I'm gonna discard this water. And can you help me put in the pressure cooker there? All right. There you go. Woo! It's caliente here, for sure. I'm gonna rinse these beans a bit. And um, anyhow, maybe uncover that for me? Yes, please. Great. Yeah, it's heavy, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna pour the beans back. Actually, there you go now. Put that in there. And uh, no, actually, leave it uncovered. I'm gonna actually pour water here back again. Um, and uh, but after we add the ingredients, so I wanna, let's talk about the ingredients. How are we gonna cook these beans? So how I have a technique for the beans to taste delicious. That's why we say the tasty black beans. Mm -hmm. So first we're gonna add bell peppers. All right. And you have the uh, ingredients in there. Uh, they're gonna be showing up soon. Then we add red onions, all right. And now we're gonna add the spices that I use. It's uh, garlic, garlic. And then this is uh, chili jalapenos. You know, you can add more jalapenos if you, like, if you like spicy stuff. I don't like too spicy, by the way. Mm -hmm. Black pepper, again, the amounts are in the screen. Cumin. And now uh, we're gonna add sea salt. And let me tell you the last ingredient. I had a client, a Brazilian client, uh, who said to me, Manuel, my black beans are not tasting like my mother's black beans. I said, are you using MSG? What is MSG? Well, MSG is monosodium glutamate. Uh, in Peru, we use a lot of MSG. Mm -hmm. You know, Peruvians, have, their cuisine have a, a huge influence, Asian influence, Chinese, Japanese, so MSG is part of our cooking, it's one of the ingredients, but unfortunately people are afraid of using MSG. Actually, I'm gonna show you something right now. I brought MSG from Peru. I got a big bag. So I always bring this, my, I stash my brother or my mother comes to visit, I always ask to bring me MSG. And uh, they sell MSG in, in the supermarkets here in the United States too as well. And uh, I think their name is Accent, the brand name. Is it true you use MSG, you don't need a lot of salt? That's right. When you use MSG, you use less salt. So a lot of people that suffer from hypertension can help. And of course, eating beans are a good source of fiber, soluble, insoluble, good for the heart, good for your digestive system, you know, good gut health, and that 
can lower inflammation too. So now I'm gonna pour water. Now how much water? I try this with uh, the two methods, the stovetop pressure cooker and the electric pressure cooker, like instant pot. And both ways I try, I like to put enough water to cover the beans, so you put about two inches of water above the ingredients. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So, um, and then, it takes a little while here now. But I mean, beans are so good for you. I like to cook them in advance on a weekend. Beans. Yeah, you can do meal plants with the beans. Super nutritious. One of the most nutritious uh, legumes out there. Any beans, by the way. People tell me, which one is better, Manuel? Just like fruits and vegetables, their color changes the phytonutrient content on the beans. And uh, you know, that's why we like different colors. All right, so now that I have the beans here, we're gonna cover the pot. You follow the instructions from your manuals. This one, by the way, is by Princess House. Thank you, Princess House. They sent me this amazing pressure cooker. Very fancy. Very fancy, isn't it? <laughs> then we are gonna put this in high, um, alta, high um, pressure cooking, mm -hmm. and then you uh, turn it on. Once this little red thing comes up, then you, you start your timer, and this will be about 30 to 35 minutes, or maybe 40 minutes, you see how you like your beans, how soft, how a little al dente or not, and it will be done. But since we are doing a live right now, I already made beans. I'm gonna move this here now. So we're gonna make a fiesta. Can you help me with a fiesta? Yes. All right, so this is black beans. Then we have uh, bell peppers. Again, I like to use a lot of colors because colors bring a lot of different phytonutrients and antioxidants. And as you know, antioxidants, different antioxidants, and different phytonutrients from different colors of fruits and vegetables provide different health benefits. So here we have bell peppers. We have orange, yellow, and red. Let's add that there. And I'm gonna combine these. Look at how colorful this looks. This is another great way to add more plants, right? Have a plant. So I'm always thinking of ways to add more plant in my diet. And here's one way, and it tastes, look at that. It not only looks delicious. It smells delicious. It smells delicious, looks pretty too. Now we're gonna add some cilantro, obviously. Latinos love cilantro, our favorite herb. And uh, put some cilantro in there and now you can serve it we're gonna serve this and taste it of course uh, I'm a little plate very good uh, let's pour a little spoon in here and we'll put a little cotija cheese on top I'm gonna give you a fork so we both can taste it all right so there there here's your fork thank you um, you like cotija cheese Love it. By the way, my hands are clean. I follow uh, food safety. All right, so let's have a taste and see. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Tastes so good. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. The flavors and the vegetables. Everything is amazing here. All right, well, thank you. I hope I gave you some caliente tips today and some caliente nutrition topics as well. And of course, this recipe is very caliente. So until next time, my friends, adios.